Hello everyone, this is Aziz Talbat, English with teacher Aziz. And we're having a grammar lesson. It's going to be about the simple present tense. In the affirmative, negative, interrogative, short answers, the uses of the simple present. Let's have a look at these examples. Number one, I listen to music every day. Number two, Karim sometimes watches television at night. Number three, my mother cooks delicious food. Number four, the children play computer games. Let's start with the affirmative form. I play, we play, you play, and they play. He plays, she plays. It plays. As you can see, of I, you, we, and they, there is no S, but with he, she, and it, we have an S. Spelling changes with he, she, and it. Rule number one. For most verbs, we add S to the base form to make she, he, and it. For example, listen becomes listens. Calm calms. Drive drives. Eat, eats. Drink, drinks. Rule number two. When the verb ends in double S, CH, SH, X, double Z, and O, we add ES. For example, Miss, misses. Watch, watches. Wash, washes. Buzz, buzzes. Fix, fixes. Go, goes. Let's go now to rule number three. When the verb ends in a consonant plus Y, we change Y to I and we add ES. For example, we have study. The last letter is Y. And before it, we have a D, which is a consonant. So, in this situation, Y changes to I, which means we don't keep the Y, we change it into I, then we add ES. So, it's studies. Rule number four. But when the verb ends in a vowel plus Y, we just add S. For example, play. The last letter of play is Y, but before it, we have an A. So in this situation, we just add an S in the end of it. Now let's go to the negative form. We say, I do not play. We do not play, you do not play, and they do not play. He does not play, she does not play, and it does not play. But let's have a look at note here. We have do not, this is the long form. Don't is the short form, which means we can say I don't, we don't, you don't, and they don't play. The same thing can be said about does not. The short form of does not is doesn't, which means we can say he doesn't play, she doesn't play, and it doesn't play. Let's go now to the third situation, which is about the interrogative form. In the interrogative form, we start with do plus subject plus the verb, which means do I play, do we play, do you play, and do they play. Does he play? Does she play? Does it play? Now, let's move to the questions and short answers. Let's have a look at photo number one. We have here a dialogue. Do they usually play basketball? Yes, they do. This is a positive answer. No, they don't. It's a negative answer. So have a look at the second photo. Does Mary cook on the weekend? Yes, she does. 
positive answer. No, she doesn't. Negative answer. So here you call these one short answers. When do we use the simple present? We use the simple present first for habits. For example, they watch television regularly. Number two, for repeated actions or events. For example, I play football on Saturdays. Number three, for general truths. For example, water freezes at zero degree. Thank you for your attention. See you in another video with English with Teacher Aziz channel. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video.